Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm here to do my Hanji Liko challenge. And today we have Liko 340A, Design Tic-Tac-Toe. So for this one, I assume if you know what's Tic-Tac-Toe first. And in short, in summary, so Tic-Tac-Toe is in the matrix. So there's two players playing this Tic-Tac-Toe. So now people, any player can put their token in this place. Now we have eight space here. If a player connected either horizontally, vertically, diagonally, or anti-diagonally connected with the same player, then that player will win. So this example, you can see this player put it on one, second player O, put it on here. This player put it on here. They can connect it and by putting here. So O have to put it here to stop them to winning, something like that all the way. And in this case, X player connected. So they X win in this case. And in this example, first, they will have input of initializing the tic-tac-toe. Uh, in this, this is a matrix. So we have three as N, how it's three times three matrix initialization. And the rest of the move is move, which is this method right here. The last digit of this move is the player. So player one here, player two, another player one move, another player two move. So first player one put it in zero, zero, row and column here. So that's why this show in here. So X is player one. Player two put another one on zero row and second column here. And this is all the move that they have. And eventually, if the move doesn't have winning, output zero. If somebody win, output will be one. So this is the testing and input related output right here. So starting from this way, we have to initialize something. To make this class easier, so we will have a we will use a private uh, private in rows private in column. I'll explain why we use this one first. Int dial no private in anti dial no. Just keep that in here first. And now we initialize uh, the row and column. When the input is n, so we know we, there's n row and n columns. So we can put rows equal to new in n and column is equal to new in n columns. Why we need to have this is because we're gonna, uh, the idea of solving this problem is if they, we see uh, player one, we call it positive one and player two is negative one, they reverse it. So you can see if here, could we have columns, rows is here to keep track of row one, two, three column will be column one, two, three. And if a player put it in here, so column one will be, now it's player one. So we increase by one. Row one is increased by one. So because this is one player, if three, did the player have three X in here? So the row one will have three. So if, player two, which is negative one, put three in here. The row will have, row one will have negative three. So the absolute number of the row number here equal to three, that means somebody win, right? That's the idea of how to calculate it. If X and O and X, then it is all filled up, but 
is not violating their law, so nobody win. So in here will be maybe negative one or one. So nobody win. Only they the same sign, which is same player, anti-diagonally, uh, vertically, uh, horizontally, something like that, you add up to come as three. So that's the logic of this. Now we have this initialized. Then we look at the move now. So in player, it's equal to player, we have an input player, right? In here, equal to one or not. If player equal to one, if player is equal to one, then in player is one. Otherwise, it's negative one. So that's how you identify players by one and negative one. After that, um, rows, row, they add equal to in player and columns, column, in player. What it does is, for example, it uh, player one play, plays right here and players one is one and player two is negative one. So, so players one here, they will add one for this row and run for this column. That's what it does in here. So accumulate what sign they have. If row equal to column, in that case, row equal to column, which is this one, this one, and this one. This will capture all the diagonal uh, information. Same idea as the vertical and uh, horizontal and vertical. Diagonal, right? Yeah, we'll add equal to uh, in player. Uh, that is diagonal and also if row equal to uh, rows dot link minus column minus one, that's the other way. So if row is zero and then column is uh, two and this is the anti-diagonal line right here. Anti-diagonal plus equal to in player. Accumulate them. And in size, just for convenience, equal to uh, row length. Rosling the same, yep. And then if, now we check, we need to check uh, if they have any, um, how to call that, winning bet already. Now if we see mat.absolute number, rows, row, Um, equal to size. In that case, uh, in that case, there's some uh, some player in this row is winning. If it's winning, then what we do is return play players. In the same time, we need to check mat.absolute columns column um, equal to size or not. A uh, few more things to check is di diagonal. Um, actually, is dot APS diagonal equal to size and also have to check anti-diagonal and 
anti diagonal equal to size. So four way checking of this four way checking, either condition fulfill. So somebody win, then we return the player. If it's not, then we will turn zero in this case, nobody win. Now it's player one wins in this case. So we turn player here. Mm, that should be it for this two method. Cool, um, sounds like the test pass. Um, taking a while. That's it for this question. Hopefully I explained it well. And if you still have question, please comment below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.